And so every big adventure has a beginning. And our adventure in Patagonia began one cloudy morning in Punta Arenas, Chile. So what's going on? <laughs> so the van's here to take us to EcoCamp. We're all loaded up and ready to go. It's gonna take a few hours, but we hear the ride is beautiful. Should be pretty cool. So we hit the road and headed north into the wilds of Patagonia. The ride was beautiful for sure, and after a few hours, the majestic Andes Mountains finally came into view. And then we see the famous towers. A sure sign we would finally made it to the incredible Torres del Paine National Park. And to the place that would serve as our base camp for five days of epic adventure. Welcome to Eco Camp. Okay, so we're here at Eco Camp, and this is going to be our home for the week. This is one of their sweet domes, and we're super excited to see what it looks like. Come on in. Ooh, this is pretty awesome. Couple of cozy, cozy beds. Oh, an awesome wood burning stove. I think it's going to be all right. <laughs> oh. The other really cool thing about the Sweet Domes is you have your own private bathroom. Ta-da! Got a great shower. The toilets are composting toilets. It's all eco-friendly. And we also got to check out EcoCamp's very cool standard domes, which include access to community bathrooms and showers and offer all you need for a cozy night's sleep. It was great. The bed was really, really comfy, and the bedding was great. It was all down or feathery or both or something. It was great. Cozy. Yeah, it was cozy. Cozy. It was really cozy. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Do you think of breakfast or coffee or what are you thinking? I'm thinking it feels a little chilly this morning. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but um, bum. <laughs> Mornings in Eco Camp would start in the main dome, where we'd gather with our group for fresh coffee and a bite to eat for breakfast, and talk about the plan for the day with our guide Felipe. Everything is waiting for the excellent day that is waiting for us, okay? We and our new friends Jade and Jill and Michael and Emily were on what they call the multi-sport adventure, and our adventure was about to begin. We got things rolling on day two with a biking adventure to a place called Laguna Azul and for the first time got to see for ourselves some of the incredible natural beauty that makes this place legendary. Hard to find words for how beautiful this entire area really is. And our reward? An incredible Patagonian asado, complete with great wine and great company. We're going kayaking, take a boat trip, it's gonna be awesome. Day three found us on the water. We are going kayaking, yay! <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, big boy's gotta stop eating. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> This lake is right behind the Grey Glacier, so these white things are icebergs that fall off the glacier and then they float all the way down to the lake and then they continue to the Grey River. So we just finished kayaking, it was amazing and we're about to load Zodiacs out to the boat and go on a boat ride and kind of see the glacier and more of the icebergs and stuff and it's supposed to be phenomenal. So really excited about it. Let's check it out. Having never seen a glacier in person before, it's massive. I mean, so much ice and the colors, wow. Wow. I'll tell you, this is uh, it's incredible. It's beautiful. We're going horseback riding today. It's going to be beautiful. Day four found us on horseback exploring the vast and beautiful Patagonian wilderness the old-fashioned way. It's an adventure. It's an adventure. The ride took us deep into a place called the Enchanted Valley to a remote ranger station where our host welcomed us with smiles and fresh hot mate while we took refuge from a passing rainstorm. 
And at the end of every adventure-filled day, we'd all gather back at Eco Camp. Dinner each evening gave us all the chance to relax and unwind, to share stories about the day's adventures over a great bottle of wine, to share an incredible meal, and to make a toast to everything that we'd accomplished. <laughs> wonder what the next day had in store. And we had one more day to go. Today is, is the big day. Today is the day that we're supposed to climb to Las Torres, the, the big place, the main place to, to uh, hike to here in uh, Torres del Paine. And uh, we'll see how far we get. Uh, we'll be disappointed if we don't make it all the way to the towers because, because we hear they're, uh, they're amazing. Um, but if we don't, we don't. But wish us luck. <laughs> we're gonna need it. And considering the fact we don't do much hiking and the weather at the towers had been awful all week, we would definitely need it. So the wind is a good 30 miles an hour steady. We're really literally just getting started. But the weather got better as we climbed, following the trail higher and higher. I'm already sweating, out of breath. Let's see how the rest of that, what, seven, eight hours go. <laughs> Still, we pressed on. By the time we hit the halfway point at the Chilean refuge, we were finally hitting our stride, crossing beautiful mountain streams and rivers, and stopping every now and then for a drink. Fresh as it gets right there. The last hour of the climb took us above the tree line and across this otherworldly landscape, until we finally reached the top, the end of the trail, and a sight to behold. Oh, wow. This place is pretty amazing, pretty spectacular. So yeah, safe to say we had a lot to celebrate when we got back to Eco Camp that night, including the fact that it just so happened to be New Year's Eve. And after we sat down to one more amazing meal, we all gathered in the barn and brought the New Year in in stock. It was the perfect ending to an incredible week. The kind of week that stays vivid in your memories and dreams even after years and years have passed. And the kind of experience you'll only find in a place like this.